diabetes. Over 30 million people living in the U.S. have it. One in four don't even know they have it. What's so important about knowing if you have diabetes? Without treatment, diabetes can impair your memory, cause vision loss, and silently damage your heart and kidneys. How? Insulin is a hormone that helps your body use sugar or glucose as fuel. In diabetes, your body doesn't make enough insulin or it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. When your body can't use glucose, it builds up in your blood, circulates around your body, and it can cause damage. Who gets diabetes? It can affect people of all ages, shapes, sizes, race, and ethnicities. Your son, your grandmother, your child's teacher, your local police officer, maybe even you. Many programs work to improve healthcare for people with diabetes, but how do we know which really help? This is where we come in. We are the Natural Experiments in Translation for Diabetes, Next D2 Consortium. We are a team of researchers clinicians, and community members from eight studies across the country. We focus on understanding which health policies and treatments improve diabetes. The experiment part of our name doesn't mean we let scientists decide which people will get treatments. Instead, we closely watch what is happening in the real world to find out if the treatment plans and programs that currently exist are actually helping people. We study a lot of health records to learn if certain health markers, like a person's blood sugar control and weight, are better because that person was a part of a scientific program. Patient privacy is extremely important to us. All the records we see have been de-identified through a privacy protection process. This means it is impossible to link a person to their health information. Our research studies focus on questions that matter to patients with diabetes, like how diabetes care is paid for, an increase in insurance coverage for some treatments has led to lower out-of-pocket expenses for some patients and employers. On the other hand, with new insurance plans, some people pay more for certain services. Have these changes influenced the number of patients who receive services, and has it affected diabetes care? What is health insurance expansion? In recent years, health care reform has provided states the option to expand who can get Medicaid, but not all states have expanded their programs. This means we can compare people in states that did expand Medicaid and states that did not. We want to know if Medicaid expansion improves access to diabetes services and how it impacts health outcomes for patients with diabetes. What programs exist to help coordinate my care? Coordination programs help healthcare providers, social service agencies, community-based organizations, and health insurance plans work together with patients. We focus on how these programs influence the way healthcare is delivered and how they affect the health events that matter most to patients with diabetes. With natural experiments, our next D2 team hopes to learn which health policies and treatments actually improve patients' lives and to empower you to advocate for your health. Do you want to receive updates on our diabetes findings that may help you take charge of your health? Click here to learn more.